So the big thing about the Italian opening is, or the Italian game, Italian opening, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's been played, it's one of the first openings that was played. So it's been around since like the 15th or 16th century. It's a really, really old opening. Uh, obviously when it was first started, the whole idea is to attack the weak F7 square. These days, uh, the top players all play. There's probably a few reasons for it. Uh, the, the first reason is they like to play it really slow. Uh, the second reason is uh, in the, the old uh, Spanish lines with E4, E5, it seems like white just cannot really get an advantage against the Berlin. And uh, the marshal is also seems to have a lot of play. Black gets a lot of play for the pawn, so it's been hard for grandmasters to play those lines. And are you guys familiar with the Berlin and Marshall attack in the Spanish? So, so this this is the Spanish. It used to be the most popular line for most of the 20th century. So the only difference right now, Spanish and Italian. Yes, that's the only difference. This attacks this, this one attacks yep. this pawn. Uh, so this, the Italian was popular until probably the 19th century. Uh, and obviously it was one of the first openings that was developed. It was popular in the 19th century, and then the 20th century, it looks like the Spanish took over. So everybody started playing the Spanish. Uh, the advantage of the Spanish is that it's a very slow moving, there's a lot of maneuvering. Uh, lines can get short, but not, not that crazy. These all the old Italian lines that people are playing are kind of crazy and short. Uh, but then I think eventually they found that there wasn't an advantage to be had. So most people started going to the Spanish. Uh, but then in the around 2000, during the Kasparov uh, Kramnik match, Kramnik showed that the Berlin is actually really, really solid and hard to crack. So ever since he introduced the Berlin back to top level chess, everybody plays the Berlin and uh, it's just a really solid opening and white doesn't seem to be able to crack it that easily. Although these days everybody plays like an anti berlin that's more like that. So it's a, they try to play like a slower, close Spanish, uh, although it's slightly different. I'm not extremely familiar with these anti berlins but it seems like it's the most popular we're playing against the Berlin now. This is in the candidates, that's, this is the only Berlin line that's shown up. Yeah, well, nobody wants to play the... So if you know the regular Berlin line, right, it's castle, knight takes, d4, uh, here, is the move? oh yeah, knight d6 is the move, you capture, capture, and then pawn takes pawn, knight to here. Why knights are there? Uh, it's just, it's the most popular, it's a book line. It's been developed over years, uh, but uh, the whole idea is to play this ending, which is really difficult for white to win. Because this seems great for white, because oh. white's castle, black can't castle. Uh, it's the other white way around. Long way out there. No, no, no. Once the queens are off, castling is not really uh, good. Well, because you put your your king in. It could be. Yeah, it's, it's, it's worth four sure. points, and it's yeah. sitting in the corner. Well, I can get an attack here if Black just plays it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not a sure thing. Like, the moves go to, like, 30-plus now in a lot of the lines. Like, these top GNs are preparing these lines to over 30 moves. Uh, but they're still not clearly finding a way to break down. Like, the Super GNs, when they play in this line, all the games seem to end in draws. Uh, however, when a really strong GN plays a weaker GN, they can still win this line. So it's not a sure thing. 
So there are still winning chances. It's just if their techniques are really strong at the top level, it seems like Black holds this position without much, without that much of a problem. That like no one wants to play it. Now. One of the advantages of Black right now is they've got the bishop pair. Yeah, the ironic thing is Black is usually giving up one of the bishops to get equality. Yeah. Usually it's not. Scary. It's not so right. simple. What's your name? What do you mean by that? Oh, okay. Well, I'm like if so you imagine so some position uh, where this trade yeah, happens, usually Black okay. is welcoming this just to get some clarity. He's in the talking position. about the alternatives to what uh, he's been talking about. That's just one idea, trying to trade off the dark square bishops, which is somewhat unintuitive because of the bishop there. Yeah, and most of these endings are not, like it's not easy for four to breach three with a lot of pieces left. So even the, the endings are played, they're not that easy to win. Hmm. Like this position is really not that easy. It's, it's very dry, it's not easy for white to show an advantage. I remember in, in some of the lines I looked at, once white gets their pawns rolling, black usually gets counterplay with a5, a4. Yeah, that's the other thing is, you know, black seems to get play on the, the green file. side. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not, like, these are endings are not winning just because of the 4-3. Uh, there's a lot of resistance that black can put up. Even if you end up with one pass pawn against the king and the pieces left, it's still very difficult to clean the pass pawn. Especially at the top level, the defense is so good that uh, it's almost impossible to show, you know, to win this sort of thing. So people are avoiding this line. It doesn't mean it cannot be played. It's just the top players, you know, are just getting equal positions and, and holding the ending. Uh, so, and then the other big line, obviously, in the typical... Yeah, the other big line is... Oh, do you want to show rook e1? In, in, in the burden, instead of d4? Instead of... Oh! Which line are we talking about? Here. Uh, rook e1 here. That's an interesting option as well. Oh, instead of d4, yeah, you yeah, mean rook e1? Yeah. There was a brief period where this was tried, but it, it usually goes into some kind of cut off position. And then here, this is typical. Uh, it's, there is some <coughs> play, but it's, just, it's something like that. So here, usually you just pass through, probably. But, yeah, but uh, the advantage is really small. Like it's no, we don't have to, but, uh, let's probably too small for the top guy right, right, right. to beat each other with. Uh, like they've tried all these things and it doesn't seem to work as well. These symmetric positions are not as easy to breach. And VL beats what's you know. the solo this time. Because what's the solo not a good version of like this structure. Yeah. And then I think, we're getting, off I think we're getting a little too deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, here. this is too, too sophisticated. So, yeah. so let's go back to the marshal. On castle here. He's back. Sorry, guys. So bishop b5, so the regular this is very common, yeah. Spanish close, if you guys are familiar with this, right? Castles. Bishop e7, rook e1. What is so different um, bringing the pawn out now as opposed to bringing it out immediately once you chase the, pawn, the bishop back? Bring the... So why is threatening to win this pawn by taking? So if we move back a second, yeah, yeah. back before here, was this right? You haven't castled right. Okay. So you move here, I chase you away. Yeah. And so why, you, eventually you're going to bring the pawn here, right? Yeah. So you like to talk about, you have to know where the pieces are going to go. I know that I want this pawn over here at some point. Why is it so different developing here and then bringing the pawn, as opposed to just right out of the bat, just bring the pawn out and you can run out? Uh, I think there is a, there's, a, there's a way of white getting an advantage here. The problem is that I'm not that familiar with those lines. I can tell you, I can tell you why might, this is bad. As soon as, as soon as you move here, wait, so wait one more time. you have mate. So well, you have, you wait, have a you fork. You ran up here. You have a fork. As soon as he moves. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, that's fine. You, right, you have no, to move here. Push the, that pawn. Push that pawn and then you can come up. It's a delay. It's black to move here. 
Yeah, it's black the move. The problem with this line is there's no tension on the, there's no pressure on this one yet. So okay. why can this delay castling get the CP, CP before plan one move earlier? And then why okay. usually gets a big center in these As circles. opposed to, if I go here, you move out of the way, now it's my turn, I you come out. So now... Now white's hand is kind of forced. Oh, okay, so you have castle, so now, yeah. you, now you're castling, and if I take knight, no E. And well, here the, this is no, the this open is Spanish. this is the open, which, which is also very complicated. Is, is also very, or you, yeah, you, you one is not. I thought we were just talking about that. E one is a reasonable move for you instead of the pawn. It is. What this is. It's not so ambitious for E one. Yeah, this this is a very theoretical line, so you have to know what's going on. This is. Yeah. Also like saying, all these lines are, they're too complicated to talk about that quickly. So like a slight difference, like this, right? So this is called the wing variation, I believe. Okay. Uh, it's not supposed to be as good as this one, but you probably will have to look it up because I'm not 100% sure. Sure. And to your point, and now that I've cleared out between my king and my rook, I can castle here and now this scary thing on the f-pawn is neutralized, so don't, don't, let, don't let the bishop point at your f-pawn until you've emptied out um, and, and opened up the puzzle. Well, never, so. never help your opponent develop is the other yeah. point. Well, it the question is, is this more developed than this? And it depends on... It may just come to knight f6 being slightly more accurate than b5 first. It's just, yeah, it's just slightly more accurate because there's a way of white to play where he might be able to get a slight, uh, slightly better position. Whereas these lines are known to be equal. That's the reason. The problem is finding finding it or improving it is uh, not that easy. Uh, but if you really want to know, just look at the opening database. It will show you why the wing variation is not that good. So, I mean, this is just your standard book sure. line. Yep. Right, so here, here, and then you castle. So this is the marshal. Not yet. Oh, no, it's, it's not the marshal. Well, so most people are playing all these anti martial lines as D3. C3 is a, becomes the martial that everybody's fearful of playing with. You called it empty martial? Anti. Anti. Anti martial. Why is it anti? Because, because you're not allowing D5. So the martial attack is a gambit. So the gambit what, being this pawn. Uh, you actually lose the E. So the marshal is something like this. So you play c3, d5, so you take, and then you take this and you lose a pawn. And the original game with marshal was knight f6, right? Or, I can't remember. But this is oh, a, a marshal. So, so now what is, what is black and white at this point? What are they sort of looking to do here? So black has a You can harass pretty, the rook a little. Yeah, so what happens is, White is really, really slow in developing. So black develops yeah. a huge initiative on the king side for the pawn. So white black is going to do something like this. Sure. He's going to play stuff like this and then start pushing. Uh, so for the pawn, he's going to get a lot of play. Whereas the white position is really difficult to develop your pieces. You're going to do something like this probably. The queen probably has to come here, 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 something like this. So the, the, what they're finding is that black has enough play for the pawn. So it's like black has all the fun putting you under pressure. By the time you get the ending is strong. And the theory so, here is so developed, it's going out to like move, late move 20. Well, yeah, it's, it's just so just concrete cool. that it's just all worked out. Everything has been tried, everything has been worked out, and uh, there's a lot of moves sure. that have been tried. Uh, if you want to know the Marshall, go study it, but there's a reason why nobody plays it anymore at the top level, it's because uh, black is just fine. So, but that's uh, the that's Marshall, and that's the Berlin. Probably one of the main reasons why everybody has switched to the Italian. Well, it seems like it's it's as popular at the top level as uh, the Spanish, whereas it used to be everybody played the Spanish. Sure. And it was in the 80s that some GMs started playing the Italian a lot more. So at least when I was a kid, right, I was like, you don't see the Italian. And some of these guys started playing, I was like, Sure. What's going on? But then when they play, they're always playing these sort of lines. 
And then they'll play it like like a Spanish, but with the bishop here. Yeah. So that that started happening. I remember when I was after I was playing a while, I was like, oh, people are starting to play the Italian, but then they're not playing it like how I, I, I learned the Italian when I was a kid with bishop c4, bishop c5, and then go for c3, d4, yeah. go for these crazy sharp attacking lines. They were all playing this sort. So it's like a typical Spanish line, uh, but with uh, with the bishop on c4 instead of b5. Right. So here again, it's funny that you can still Berlin. Uh, it's not quite the Berlin. It's, it's very not different. Berlin anymore? Okay. It's a very different opening once you play. But for subtle reasons, this is the preferred move order to reach the slow Italian compared to bishop c5 recently. Compared yeah, to... Because the there's a force nice. drawing line in bishop c5. There is? I, I can talk about that. Oh, this is no, very, no, this but is nobody plays bad. this. Nobody right, but if Black wants to play for a win, they, they, if they play bishop c5, they risk allowing this. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with this one. Um, I only look at Grandmaster games, unfortunately. But so there, there are some GM games in this. There are? Then, well, here, then, typically, they'll play d5, right? Yeah, takes, takes, and then this is the fourth drawing line. Um, oh. Yeah. And then, uh, there's an independent option here. What was it? It looks like you can try the shit you said. No, I think it was... Uh, no. Sorry, uh, let me just try to remember. What's the end of the Oh, this, I think? Or, no, this is hanging, sorry. This, this one? Yeah, yeah, this one. This, but this is slightly better for white. I think there's some theory here as well. But this is a huge tangent, because at least I think this is the reason why people prefer knight f6 for bishop c5. Also, it avoids the f standard. But that's maybe not as big of a. Wait, but doesn't it doesn't it no, not defend huge, uh, against? So wait, coming coming back here. Um, so we met here. We did this. So if if I come if I come out here, oh, your bishop isn't there yet. Okay. Yeah, I mean the grandmasters are all playing d three. Nobody's playing c3. They're all playing d3. And then usually this happens. And we ended up here anyway. c3. So whatever. Here, d5 is playable castles. I mean, there's so many lines. It's, 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 too, it's a very, very sophisticated opening now. But it's played very, very slowly. That's why there's a lot of maneuvering and developing. We'll look at a little bit of it next week. But uh, it's a really... it's. It's, there's too much theory now with it, sure. the, the so I don't know if you are that interested in this line. The move order subtleties with does white go bishop d5 or not, and does black click the pawn here or here always confuse me. <laughs> I do not understand. I have seen all the games. I don't really understand the subtleties. I don't play this line, so... But if we go back to... So we're going to just look at the two knights today. Okay. So wait, so just to say, this is the two knights which we are looking at tonight. The other line is bishop c5, which is the Yoko piano line, which is, which is like the old standard move that everybody used to play in the 19th century and before that. Uh, so, but the two knights is very interesting. So, I'm just showing you roughly these two lines. Uh, this is all that's played at the top level, either the two knights or the uh, Yoko piano line. Uh, at the top level, when they play knight f6, most people are just playing d3. And then usually they'll play bishop c5, and then we go back to the, the Gyoko piano lines. That everybody seems... But then it's it's played really slow. There's also, slow. not quite at the top level, but maybe at 25, 2600, they're also trying this one, or also this one. Yeah, well, we'll look at the bishop e7. Just uh, uh, quick, quickly, the bishop e7 line. So when, we, when d3 is played, right? Bishop c5 just kind of transposes to the other lines, but bishop e7 is another way of playing it. It's kind of more like a Spanish type treatment to it, but we'll look at some, we'll look at a quick game. And the idea okay. here is you can defend the pawn and your bishop's already out, so you're not blocking the bishop, putting your pawn. Yeah. So as long as it's already out, so fine. Yes. 
but the whole idea of D3 is this is really slow. It's a slow play like this. Does like anyone ever bring out the pawn? Uh, they will, so the, and this, all these lines, D4, D5, is, they look to break there. That's the main break in all these lines. So why, when you're here, why are we coming out here and not coming out here? Or D4 they prepare. 4d4 so transposes to the scotch character, correct? Yes. So, so that's, that's a whole, whole different that's system. That's a whole different system. We'll just look at, look okay. at it briefly. But now we're just looking at the two knights. Okay. So like, for, like d4 and we will transpose. It's a reasonable transpose. thing to do, it's just a whole different line. It's just a whole different idea. Okay. So it goes into the scotch camp, right? Okay. And that has a whole... It's that's a whole fine. opening yes. right. so we'll just we'll look talk at about a different day, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, all the, it, this is too... Like, we only have time to look at maybe the first 10 most. Sure. If you want to play this line, I mean, you can kill yourself. <laughs> There's so many lines. That's so the theory is so deep in all these lines. Okay. Uh, we have an hour and a half, so we only have time to cover about 10 moves. So I'll just show you some games and some ideas. So we're looking at two nights. Uh, today is two nights. Next week we'll look at the Gilco Piano lines. Uh, but if you look at the, the master database, it's like 40 to 50%. So most of these lines are going to be yes, other things you can play. Like you can play Bishop E7, the Hungarian, but there's not that many games in it. Bishop, Carlson played Bishop B4 here once, right? Bishop to B4. B4 yeah. I have no problem. Maybe he did. But that's very rare. It's just rare moves that, you know, you can look at it, but I don't think anybody... Bishop E7, there's like 8 or 9% master games or something. So this is playable, but I think it just transposes back into this this sort of line which we'll look at later on. Uh, but anyway, so this is the two knights. So it's really, really developed. So a lot of theory has been developed in the last maybe 30 years or less. Uh, but it's so deeply analyzed that, like I said, you can look up any line you want. The moves go 20 something moves deep a lot of times. Yeah, if you want to play this line, yeah, look it up. Uh, the short lines, I mean, obviously you need to know every concrete line. There's no doubt about it if you want to play all these short lines. But uh, I think the most important thing about this is the characteristics of this position. Uh, so both sides are going for d4 or d5. But what usually plays it with c3. d4 can be played but it's a scotch gambit, so it's a little bit different. So what white is usually doing this? Black also looks for d5 eventually. Uh, but most of the times they'll play d3 first and then eventually prepare d5. But that's the most important break in this position. Uh, there are other ways of expanding. I mean, one thing that happens a lot of times is if the bishop goes to g5, right, black could play stuff like this and kick the bishop back. Uh, positions could get a little bit wild and crazy, but this is one of the lines. Uh, there was a game today, Ding against Report, I guess. Oh, but that was a Ray Lopez. But there's a lot of games. No, that was a Ray Lopez. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of games where you know, white plays here and then black does this. So this sort of thing happens. Uh, the but the main breaks are going to be here and here. And white usually prepares this, so that's why usually they cast. So and then they do all. Is it reasonable things. already for for black to? D three D five is alone. These are yes. both. These are both reasonable. Okay. They're both. They're both. Yeah, they're both playing D five. I mean, D five can pretty much be played on. Sure. almost any point. Okay. It's whether you want to play it or not. Uh, but uh, clearly, if you want, there's a lot of theory in all those things. Yeah, but we'll probably talk about it more next, next week. But today we're looking at the two knights. Uh, in a piece development, usually a knight goes here, the other knight might go here. A lot of times the knight goes here. You could play here, this is the four knights, which I feel is kind of joyish. Oh, you should show yeah. the center for here. Oh, this one? Yeah, yeah. yeah stuff like that yeah. just happens. And then Bishop B3. Yeah, I, I've 
I am not extremely familiar with this wine, but it's a safe. typical. So this is a typical idea. So it's bishop. I want to get the bishop here that early. Yeah. So this is a typical idea when you get this sort of structure to capture the bishop, this. Re-pick them on. Exactly. And then you play d5. Sure. So it happens in a lot of openings. And quite a few of those. Some axes are actually intentionally going to the white side of this because the Italian and Berlin are so worked out. I oh. think they were trying to find new ideas in this after after this one. But yeah, the idea is here for black are f5 yeah. at some moment, and I'm not sure how to play the white side. I am not that familiar with this line. Why is the f file so much more? Oh, never mind. And chopping of f7 is known to be bad for white. So, I mean, usually the. Chop, chop the, chop the oh, oh, that's also a line. It's, yeah, it's but there's no chop on here. No, no, after no, after no, it takes chop on it. Oh, here. Yeah, this is known to be bad for white. Well, it's, it's a line. Yeah, it's a line, but uh, there's not to be bad for white. D5 here, right? Yeah. And then bring the king to G. Yeah. So there's not to, to be bad for white because of black gets the entire center. There's theory here as well. But this is theory. Not, yeah. not if you're playing uh, speed chess yeah, blitz. This is strong <laughs> blitz. <laughs> this is a good because it takes time because you're not used to playing with your king out exposed. Yeah. yeah. Right, because then you get to start harassing and check, check. Yeah. You can bring this out, bring your queen out, and just start really being super aggressive. Yeah. Do we have time? To show something really quick. Sure, go ahead. Uh, there's, it's actually funny because I play this line, and then this is a very natural move, and we get the same thing in reverse. But then here, it's okay to chop. Right? No, it's it's also bad. Okay. Um, so wait, you chop. And... This is just reverse with h3 and turn it. Yeah. Um, uh, it's probably similar. Yeah, so the issue is that white ends up owning the entire center, although you think that you may have displaced white's king. Right. Yeah. Okay, but that, that's a diversion. Okay. It's interesting to know. So these lines are, I mean, there are a lot of little tricks that you probably yeah. should know when playing this. Uh, but roughly, the usually, I mean, the knight ends up here. All on IC3 is possible. Uh, and you're going to cast, so usually you're playing for something like that. Uh, you always want to be aware that you can break here. The other lines that people are playing are uh, stuff like that. Yeah, so you either play A3 or A6. Uh, the queen might go here, usually it stays on this diagonal. Uh, but I've seen lines where it goes over this side. But it usually goes on the queen side. Um, yeah, but this is how white is playing this. So you can play for something like this, or you can play you know, stuff like this too and play for... Usually the rook ends up on e one Bishop, I mean, it could go here, here. I mean, a lot of times white might just play bishop here to exchange this bishop off with this one, because this bishop is quite strong. So stuff like that happens. Uh, the other line is here, but here there's always this danger that white can get a dangerous king side attack. Uh, not extremely, I mean it's not that dangerous obviously, unless people won't play bishop g5. Uh, but you, you need to know how to play it. Is it true that bishop g5 is slightly better once black has committed to casting? Because now if you throw your yeah. pawns, you're weakening your own king side. Probably, but I, I've seen both. I don't know. I mean, I, I've seen both being played. Yeah, they're both yeah, they're both, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the reason there's this option where once you castle, you stop fishing. Yeah, this is I mean, h6 idea. is played a lot. So, I mean, this is played, this is played. Like, d5 can be played any time here. So, the other things that happen is the knight goes to here. That's one of the typical maneuvers in this position. The knight goes over here, trying to come in here or something. You can do stuff like these are all some ideas for the white side of the right of this actually the Spanish but that's what like these are typical spots this bishop wants to come here or here usually here obviously you want to exchange this uh, but these is a lot of times when they play bishop e6 the so white just moves the bishop away so white will play here if you try this early and sometimes black will bring the rook here before Wait, one more time if you bring your bishop too early out there. So if you like, people have tried bishop takes bishop, but these days they're all playing this move. Because so why you not take bishop? keep your bishop. I think sometimes sometimes black brings the rook out first, so that when you trade you don't get 
don't even allow damage in the structure. Sure. Yeah, yeah but most so of these like it's normally happy to get the double force in the center. Right. It's quite beautiful, right? It's I'm not sure. Uh, not really, though. It, I, mean, I always thought the structure was bad long term. But it's, it's, I think it's one of these things where it's hard to say. To I think that yeah. especially with the rook here already, this becomes more enticing. Because taking yeah. doesn't give as much. And these days, a, a lot of them are taking this knight too. They're trying these knights. Sure. Not to play better. Where, yeah, where they're trying this. So that's possible too. So This is just roughly where you put the pieces. This, in this seems a little piece. counterintuitive because if you're going to be storming on this side, the fact that you're double-piled on this side is kind of... Well, you don't always storm on this side. Yeah, sometimes so the, he does castle and... The, the, common, the common theme is to break in the center. So like most games that I see, right, they might get something like this, and then they play, if they eventually get, say, you know, this play. You have two choices. If you take, right, you get these structures, or white also plays these structures. And same with uh, black, right? So if, if black somehow gets this, I mean, white can... Yes? What's the most effective uh, way to use your queen? It's like always sitting there. In this position? No, any position. It's just like Usually, the, like the queen move, gets into the game really late. Huh? The queen comes into play really late in the game. In in these structures, though, there's sometimes queen, like queen b3 batteries? Yeah, the queen might come here. And then so. for black? Oh, well, Ding plays that funny line with queen b8, right? But that's very, uh, very specific. Usually, when, the, when this gets exchanged, he would quit it. Oh. Yeah, the queen, so there's like, some... There like are this some Rubenstein idea. Yeah, there are Rubenstein place. idea, but it's it's not that common. It's just a very funky move. But. So there's an old game that Rubenstein played, and he went Queen B8, Queen A7, and got this battery here. So that's oh. one of the ways of playing. It's yeah. a positional. So you position your queen. It's a positional queen. idea. I like to move it from the king. No, 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 no. You do start like this. Like the Since is, you don't know what to do with your queen, Since the queen this. is the most valuable piece, yeah. if you move it out too early, it can get harassed by yeah. the minor pieces. I still love that they cannot move the king. The queen can have like a check. check. It's it, it like... Block the, anything this. that comes front of the king, the queen will just like attack it. They can't move around. Like you, you can, but when there's too many pieces around, the queen is not effective. You don't expect that early that queen to be so yeah. effective, so people they miss. They they might. I mean, it, so it depends on the level you're playing at. Uh, the stronger you get, the queen stays home for most of the game till at least the early middle game. I just try. To Usually, play. it stays one of these squares. It might jump up to A5 or B6, but usually it's going to just pretty stay common. here. Just try to mix yeah, here, here. Especially if H3 has been played, this, this is... Yeah, these are just common squares. The queen can go here. So I even seen queen E8 and say this gets played. Like this is a typical yeah, idea right. to develop. So there's a lot of ways of moving the queen, but the queen does not get into the, the game. It's not the best thing to do. I see it's the, not the best thing to get the queen out too early. The, yeah. queen, the queen to a5 I see a lot when people bring out a minor piece too early to get this check. This happens a lot at, uh, yeah. at 1300, 1400 people. It, it does. So, that's, uh, that's a that, that does happen. And are you thinking of that four knights line in Sicilian? I see a lot of lines. Uh, what will end up happening? Uh, yeah, uh, something. The queen will bring check uh, because either maybe they brought in a, a minor piece on this side or this side, and so seeing this or seeing this is super common. Yeah, it's uh, again, it's just one of these little tactics on, that uh, yeah. the, the lower rank players the, do that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, different levels. I mean, people are jumping Usually in Caro or Sicilian, right? Because the C pawns already moved. Right, right, right. Just that makes sense. Yeah, but there's roughly where you put the pieces in this position. So this is a typical white setup. This bishop goes to here, here. Uh, usually the queen might go to b3 or c2 or not a5 usually. Usually these two squares, but usually you might do something like this. Or maybe just queen c2. Uh, and then with, with black, I mean you're either playing a6 or a5 and then your bishop usually goes, stays on this diagonal. <laughs> Uh, Rook usually ends up going here. So. On both sides? Yeah. I mean, on the here, you're gonna light is also eventually going to put the Rook on. There. Yeah, so usually the Knights end up going to this square. 
that's more common, although there are lines where the knight goes here or here. Just be careful about playing with D1 before it's three, because sometimes there are concrete issues with the Wait, one more time? Be, be careful of playing so, with the so he, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some concrete issues. There's some lines that go like this, and then you you later kick the knight, but they're kind of funky. So you're saying play h2 before you play e1. Before you weaken the f2 square. Well, you I mean, you can play here. If you play c, you just play it down. Well, then you waste the it. E2. Yeah. Right. Well, you probably play the e2 and then kick it right. down. If you can play the e2 and kick the knight, then this is a waste. Oh, that's true. Well, the rook is not, Yeah. maybe not be that well placed on e2. Maybe. It okay. depends. It's not going to be placed well here if you can get the... It's just all these kicks that can happen. Sure. You just have to be real okay, careful. Okay, that's, that's a good tip. You but this is roughly how stuff. both sides are going to play it. So... So let's get back to the... So this is... Again, it's... It's roughly where both sides want to put the pieces. Uh, I mean, if you're playing this, if you don't know the lines, just put your pieces there, you should be okay. Sure. Like, you won't get a horrible position, unplayable position. What did you call the name of this black side? Uh, I guess, what is the line No, this is just, we'll go through this. This is the. Oh, we are going to go through this? Oh, we're going to go through the mean. So, I, this I is the two lot. knights, yeah. right? So, here, uh, if you look at, I guess, page three, maybe, or two. There's three, three main lines. So there is knight g five, which probably is the craziest and most interesting line. There is d four and there's d three. So d four either transposes to the scotch gambit or there are other ones that you could transpose to. Uh, so let's just look at knight to g five. D3, really, bishop c5 just transposes to the, the Gioco Piano lines. Bishop e7, we'll look at later. So knight g5. Oh, I see this all the Real time. Quick, after d3, there's also the option to bring the bishop to this diagonal. Uh, Hans Niemann plays these systems sometimes. Oh, and I you have this or this one. This is pretty recent. Okay. Yeah, h6. I've seen stuff like that uh, in the 80s and 90s, but... So in the 80s, there was a fad in the Spanish where people were playing this uh, in the Spanish. This is right still there. somewhat popular at club level. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. But, but maybe the night it goes started, there Yeah, the night might go there, but it started getting popular in the 80s. Because they're trying to find new ideas against the Spanish. And people were starting to play a lot of these Fianchetto lines. Uh, and then I think they started doing that in the Italian as well. But that was when I was and I, you know, I would play through all these grandmaster games and I was like, oh, that's what they're trying to do. I think we're very interested to see what, what you were talking about before, because this happens a lot. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this lot, is the... Lot. Okay, so this is probably what, you know, most, I guess, 16 and below, 15 and below, whatever it is. This is what they all play. Very much. So strong players don't do this anymore because black gets good play for a pawn sacrifice. It's not, yeah, it's not as... It, it does happen occasionally, but not nobody okay. seems to want oh, to play the okay. white side anymore. It's good for black. Uh, okay. I won't I say it's good for black, but I think black is okay. It's yeah, balanced. Yeah. There were some legendary yeah. Carlson versus Leslie So duels in Rapid like yeah, one or two years ago. There were some interesting games. Okay. No, there, it's, it's, it's much more sophisticated and complicated as, you know, as what you see. They're very, very complicated lines. So here, uh, D5 is the main move. Oh, before we go into D5, there's of course a crazy <laughs> sex like counter attack that some of you guys like to play. Uh, Why doesn't the knight take? Nobody plays this at the top level. Knight takes place in the black stand. Yeah. Knight takes is the knight takes is not not the best move. Okay. Uh, bishop takes is the best move. So, so knight takes, if, right? If knight, yeah, so okay. bishop takes. So this is the crazy line. Uh, you can see I put it here. Uh, I'm just showing you what the best computer line yeah. is. Uh, but there are obviously many yeah. variations to it. So king e1, queen here. Knight takes here. Sure. d5. bd. Bishop g4. Bishop e2. Okay. Like D four. Queen takes. 
uh, three bishop. Yeah. Uh, castle. And why is it so important to castle already? Because there's a rook that you want to. Oh, you have time now. Yeah, the, that's not important. You're trying rook f8. Well. Rook f8, and then, so the yeah. it's it's all about the attack. Right. You don't really want the material. In fact, if you go for the rook, you're just going to be down a piece. With very little development, you'll probably die. So you need to attack okay. before before white gets the players up. Hey, I'm in. How are you doing? Uh, so knight d4, so castle, knight c3. Like this is the the what I found the computer recommends. Rook f8, check king e1, knight f2. Scary crazy. Yeah, it's. So rook b1 and e4, and the computer says it's. To me, it's totally unclear. Uh, but the computer says this is equal. 0, 0, 0, or something that's close also, to that. That's the computer's way of saying unclear yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if you look at it, it looks like white has more than enough material. The problem is that you have a hard time developing. And if black gets the knight into the king side somewhere, like if you get something like this and you can threaten this, black white might have some problem. So it's a it's a totally crazy line. You need to go prepare if you want to play this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you guys want to play this all right? So yeah, both sides have to memorize. Uh, you have to memorize it. You know, twenty something moves deep with all the different branches because there's so many slight. Variations like this is supposed to be the best line for both sides, and the computer rates it as equal. I look at this, I'm like, totally unclear what the heck is going on. How how is anybody going to play this position? Yeah, it's a yeah. very very balanced. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like look, you got two rooks, three minor pieces, so you looks like you're way ahead in development. The problem is this piece is stuck. These pieces are all stuck. Then now it's gone. Uh, how to play this position. Right, with this, this knight is toast. Yeah, but you're, you're not going to want to this in the pocket. Yeah, whenever yeah. you feel like it. Yeah, you know, you probably will just run your king over and yeah. chop it off if you want. Uh, but that's not the important thing in the position. The important thing is whether black can keep generating play. If he can generate enough play here, white can get in trouble if he misplays it. If he cannot, I don't know, maybe there's a draw. <laughs> Could be a draw. Just queen check and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but like I said, the computer says it's equal. I look at it, it's like, I think it's unplayable for most players. But if you want to play this line. But Bishop F7 check is the one with the solid single candidate for white. Yeah, so the other line, if you uh, if Bishop you F7 like, is like strong players don't play yeah. this one. Yes, yeah, so this line is not, again, it's not, not played at the top level. I think I saw one, there was one game, a couple of Belyavsky, that Belyavsky played this and escaped. <laughs> that was only the only game that I saw, I was like, oh, he actually tried this. Uh, so, after an idea, D5, is it? Uh, no, Bishop C5. So there is one game that Kapo played against Belyavsky, so King E7 is the move. So here, Bishop D5. Rook F8, castles, D6, bishop takes, knight F3, bishop G4, D3. And this is this so is like relatively I'm, equal. This looks much no, better white for white. No, white is plus one or more. No, yeah. white is clearly better. I'd yeah. actually rather play the Stafford than this because sometimes white doesn't get the castle there. I think there's a line where like the uh, is it the first is a black bishop. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, you yeah, yeah. Like you, need <laughs> you need to look. You need to look at the line. Yeah, look at like if you want to play this, you got to look at this line. But if if white plays this, it's clearly better for white. Yeah. So yeah. Black needs to resign soon. If black yeah if, if white plays this, it's just clearly better because he's a solid pawn up, no weaknesses. He's just going to consolidate and then. So what you know, should what should play. Black have done here? Don't play Bishop C5. Bishop C5 is not a good move. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
Okay, so that's why you don't play bishop c5 because this line. Like, can, can you repeat the uh, counter Which one? So bishop c5? Oh, the knight here. This one. So chop. King here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, King here. Chop. D5, I think it's the move. The, the move is here. You can, you know, yeah, yeah, you can take a copy here. Oh, okay. I just like to play lines where I'm passing. Yeah. So D5, pawn takes pawn. Uh, what's the move here? No, you can. Oh, yeah. Bishop C5, they're, they're going to chop on the. No, no, before you play. Bishop. Yeah. Right, okay, right. Castle, oh, Knight C3. A bunch is of a move. big mess. Yeah, it's big mess. Knight g4, queen g3, rook f8, check, king here, oh, king here, knight to f2, and then you exchange everything, check. then you play queen f6, king g1, knight takes, Kobeus is, Kobeus is totally equal. <laughs> uh, the problem is I'm like, I don't know how to play this line, I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, I see that the white king is in serious danger of getting trapped. White has no pieces developed except for this knight. The knight is dead. So yeah, it looks like black has a lot of compensation for the material. But how are you going to play this line unless you're totally prepared? Yeah, yeah this is unplayable unless, unless you prepare everything. And like I've given you the 18 best moves, right? There are branches on every single move. So if you want to play this line, you got to know all the branches too. Because if white missteps, you can get a bad position too. Black is having all the fun in this line. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard to play. It's, it's really hard to play for both sides, so this is not playable. But then the bishop takes pawn line, white is just clearly better. So yeah, so these lines are not. I mean, from what I see, they're not really playable. So let's do the one that we do a lot, where it's the move the pawn up. So d5 is the move, right? So, any questions about the Traxler? Anybody still wants to play it? You will. You're still playing it, okay. So, okay, so instead of playing bishop c5, which is the crazy Traxler, uh, top level, everybody plays d5. So these are the main d5 lines. Uh, so here, pawn takes pawn. Uh, so here, I mean, everybody loves playing this fried liver. Which, again, is not supposed to be that good for black. Uh, the best line is probably d4 here. There is the fun, let's look at the typical line that everybody likes to play, knight takes f7, king takes, right? Queen check. Queen check. You're forced to play here because the knight is under attack. Knight c3. So the best line is knight to b4. These are just, uh, okay, so, right here. so knight d4. So what the heck is going on? So that's the problem, you don't really know what the heck is going on here. Castles is the move. C6 to continually, continue to can, I, uh, can I ask what's wrong if we go back a move or two? Yeah. Um, what, what's wrong with uh, going here and, and getting... Uh, attacking? One, two, oh, okay. three attacking it, yeah. one, two yeah. defending it. Yeah, so you this you don't lose the piece. Yeah. So the only this is the so you can yeah, actually so play you, here. You, you, def, you defend this, this is not as good as this move is better. To go there. Okay. Yeah, this move is better than this one. That's the other move that you can play. By the way, you, you're saying that this position is better for white. No. Uh, it's dangerous. It's supposed to be slightly better, but it's unclear. Know, right? What's wrong? What's All wrong with for white? What's wrong with meeting? So you just move here. What's wrong with meeting that? You'll take it. So here is just castles. 
And it's a very, very unclear, like the computer I looked at thought it might be slightly better. It kept fluctuating between 4.5. There is also, this sign can arise from the Alipin with C3E5 inserted. And then I agree nicely with Bishop C4. I looked at that as well. So C3 and E5 inserted. Yeah, so E5 against the Alipin, you need to pre be prepared for it because it's always transposing into some open game with the C file. I did the C file gone or C3 Oh, so C5. With, with the, okay. <laughs> I am not aware of that. By transpose, do you mean some of the move order is different or do you mean black versus white? It's it's the same colors, but C3 and C5 are inserted. Or if white plays an early D4, you can get a scotch four knights with the C pawns missing. Ultimately, though, you still have the bishop and knight combination. Attack. Right, yeah, you get, the king will end up to the square. So it's a similar type position. Oh, slightly I, different. It might be a better so, version because this blocks the knight from coming yeah. to CP. So that's probably what I was remembering as unclear. Oh, so you want to play here? So, so you have four. Force to play that. Yeah, if the knight is, if the knight can't come out here, it might be a better version. But I, I don't remember the details. Okay. Anyway, let's just continue this line. So castle C6, D4. Queen to F6. Again, I'm just showing you what it's supposed to be the best lines. Uh, but you are going to have to look these up. If you want to. I mean, there's so many lines. There's so many slight variations. Yeah. But you say everyone plays this, but you know that it's never played at the top level. It's not played at the top level. No, but the other levels... Uh, I think probably 1600 and below. A lot of people like to play this. Yeah, I do this against weaker players because I'm gambling that they don't know the theory. That's what yeah. color? That's point. That's oh, why okay. I don't play black. It's crazy. So it's really hard to play because your king yeah, is running around low. Against weaker players, yeah, they want to play this. Yeah, I mean it's... No, because our players you know the point against weaker players, they don't know how to defend. Even if they play d5 and then knight a5, it's still promising for white if it's a weaker play. It's definitely one of the sharpest lines. Yeah, but against yeah it's just it's just one of these crazy oh, lines it. where uh, I don't really know whether you want to play it unless you really know the lines. So this is the final position. And the computer thinks that, I, like I said, my computer keeps fluctuating between 0.4 to 0.5. So it's either... Good compensation good or slightly white. better for white. It's much easier for white to play for the piece. If you if you learn this as black, you can um, play e5 against the elephant if you switch to the Sicilian at some point in the future. I guess that's one advantage. And black's not terrible, right? We're threatening here. That really, I mean, that doesn't do anything because I can do it. Well, and then I'm going to bring it in. Yeah. 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 Rook g5, yeah. everything. Yeah. Rook g5, yeah. Rook g5, yeah. Rook g5 yeah. and it's a position. Yeah. Right, Again, so you cannot, don't play this line unless you know the lines well. Yes. It's unplayable if you don't know. I mean, they're, they're two shots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these moves are like the best move, but slight variation if you don't know what to do. Uh, you might be lost. Yeah. Anybody so, who missed steps could be lost. So I'll find that takes F7 if I'm sure my opponent don't know the theory. If I think my yeah. opponent knows the theory and he plays the, uh, knight takes E5, I'll go for Nolly attack. <laughs> Yeah, D4 is a slightly better version of, of this. So, what was the line? So, Lolly. The Lolly. I didn't even know it was called the Lolly. After a person or after the candy? Who knows? Probably Maybe a person, because there's a Lolly made as well. So, you might be yeah. This, this, if I know my opponent knows theory, I'll go this. He takes our castle. It looks like a scratch game. Yeah, almost. most black player is gonna blunder. Playing this. Wait, what's the move here? Uh, there are other. Anything piece. except this. Okay. This, this loses so what, my, this what loses does, my okay. fork. Then you transpose. Take. Wait, so no, I put down the darn lolly thing yeah, here. Oh, here yeah, for move on. Yeah, black is down a tempo. Yeah, black is down a tempo and the bishop is in the wrong split. Very subtle. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you can... You can look through the lines. Yeah, I put one line. Let me use the best I put the lines here, you can have a little bit of the best line. In general, if you play 1e5 against c4... Go through this one, what you just did again. So, 
most black player will blunder with bishop e7. So it's 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 my move right now, yeah. and I'm thinking, oh, e7, so that I can eventually castle, yeah. and that if you okay, yeah, that's a blunder. so if you go here, that's concretely, concretely, we're bad. equal piece wise right now. As of this second, upon. black is up upon. So it is up in development. Sure. Okay. So then you're gonna take. I'm gonna take. So now I'm thinking I'm sitting pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the So check. And you're not you have to in defend. I have to square. defend. Fine. And then okay. Check. And then you're what? Gonna... Yeah, you're just gonna do the. Yeah, you're just gonna do very similar things. This like looks similar to what we looked at, except Chick Glass me. has wasted yeah. a move. Chick me. What? No, chick me. No, just take the move. Yeah. Well, there's there's 95, right? Yeah. But then you're just probably lost. Yeah. Well, there's 95 first. Yeah. But you're you're probably lost though. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So that's why you can't move here. So that's fine. Is, is there a name for that trap? Lolly. The lolly. The lolly is just um, the lolly, this lolly line trap. in general. Yeah, it's just this line in general. It's not that okay. trap itself. So is if no, instead of that, I mean. still I still would like to castle. So I really want to move this bishop back. Yeah. So you, you, I'm you, not you, moving you, it here, yeah. but I have other choices, right? This. You lose a piece. Oh, yeah, so I still have to do something here before I do anything. I'm threatening a lot of and this I'm pawn is really here, scary right here. here. Okay. Well, wait, is it why? possible to go here in Castle Queenside? Is this a line? I don't think so. Okay, this is too much. Okay, so, so I can't, so I can't move here and I can't move here. To I can't block that. I can go here. I can't really go here. Just gonna move up or whatever. So fine. So really, it's just that. Yeah. So the issue is uh, opening opening this hall is already quite bad. Is this unclear or? No, this How terrible what? Okay. If I come yeah. here? Oh, that's so, the way we're looking. Yeah. You probably chop it. First need to go to the queen. Queen, 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 it does look very good. Yeah, we just need to look at the database. Okay, just like the weakness you are creating here. Yeah. And what, what's going to get this pawn back? Yeah. The white, I think, has. White has a lot of compensation play. for the pawn here. Yeah. It's just too dangerous to play this way. Really. White has too much play, I think. Okay. The thing is, I mean, black, black does not have to go into it. So the move there really was to move the bishop all the way here and defend the pawn. Uh, no. So black does not have to go into. You don't even get into those. So this is why everybody plays at the top level. Oh, we should mention this move. Which yeah, is not that's, that's also, that's also And then here, I, for some reason, yeah, this wait, wait, how did we get here? Can we just do it over? I think we're we're a little lost here. How did we get to here? Okay. Um, so this way. So knight to g5. You have, you have to block. block. You so you block. must block. You block. There's no Fine. other move. I mean, okay. unless you want to play the track slow, which I think here, it's... Here, and I can here. Yeah. Or, or B5 is enough. B5 is possible. Sammy, if he plays this. Yeah. Who played it? Some uh, local player, 1800. <laughs> Some 1800. <laughs> no one's strong plays this, most yeah. like. Nobody plays this at the top. Fine. No, this... I mean, it's one of the moves. Okay, so, this is our move. Yeah, Fine. this is the move. Check. Uh, so I've listed, I mean, I've listed all these moves down, so you can check them all out. Again, C6. these lines are really not playable unless you... What? No. Yes, yeah, C6 is the one. Yeah, yeah, take, 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 take. Oh, and we should mention there, oh, there's no. this move Any. as well, but it's known to be not accurate because of Queen E2. Wait, okay. So this is what I was thinking, so why is this bad? Because of Queen E2, so you, you keep the tempo. Because now he gets, he gets a chance to defend this. And then White is yeah. castling, and then... Probably, it's yeah, it's not, pawn. like all these lines are not dangerous, so you, you just need if you're playing black, right, you don't want to play that. And even here, C6. I can take a pawn and be threatening your knight. Well, there's always That's the not, pawn moving, protecting, or... Yeah, it's not that, it, those are not... This is not goal. that common, yeah. yeah don't be greedy with your pawn. Yeah, because this is known to be the best move, so you take, take this picture is going to go somewhere. So it's got two squares. Yeah. Has got two squares. E three or e two. Right, my nice defense has both of these. But sometimes he plays e three. I can move there, or yeah, okay. Yeah, the so there's a about fifty fifty at the top level. Sometimes so that's not to be bad, I think, because of I forget what the graphic is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, if you want to play this line, I think, it's it's not theory, right? I think with this one, you play this. What do you? This is the first one. No, no, no. This, this, no, 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 this, 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 this is just this place. Uh, this is the main line. 
Okay. I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just giving you the main sure. line. No, we These went over ten thousand things. I'm just getting. You want to play this? There's also this, the this one thing. Yeah. yeah, you must know them all. You and then there, there. there's even this move in modern times. The second, <laughs> second the exchange right. takes in bishop e7. Yeah. You, you Yang, you played this one or one or two yeah. times. And then there's this move. Wait, how is that good? How is sacrificing your it's rook just, a good idea? I think the engine just finds that black has enough dynamic compensation here, just move by move. Yikes! Okay. But, it's very complicated. And then the, the old, the most common main line is this one, but then also this one is very interesting. But this is after, after the pin. But anyway, okay, so it's white to move. White's can move here or here, or his only choices. Yeah, most common. So they are about the same. He bought 50 50 in the okay. database. Yeah. So let's just look at bishop e2 first. I made 1800s. So h6, uh, there's two moves, knight here or knight here, either one uh, is fine, again it's about, I think 50-50. I didn't know Duda played knight h3 in this recently. Mm. Uh, I'm sure they try everything, I'm sure they're trying everything because I just looked at the database and just yeah. took the... I just, I took the latest game that I saw. I remember this game. <laughs> yeah, so from the game you will see that black actually has good play for the pawn. Right. So let's just look at the game. So you see roughly what happens. Bishop d6, that's... These are all kind of common uh, moves. Right, suddenly black is super developed. Yeah, so the, you, you're sacrificing the pawn. And then you're getting all your pieces out before white gets its pieces out. Right. Yeah, so totally so why it's ball. not as popular for white to play this is because black it's gets a lot of players. Yeah, yeah compare oh, this to the Marshall or this kind of configuration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is even slower than the Marshall for white, right? Well, this is not as bad because you haven't committed C3 yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah the development is yeah, worse. Yeah. So well, let's just see roughly what happens here. This was uh, this is actually a rapid game. So uh, it's one of those tours, chess tours. Was that the exchange is bad? Which one here? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know. It may be a well, line. it was a rapid game, okay, so maybe. But you should look at the line. But it seems like they don't play it. Like the top players don't seem to like to play it. I think they just want to keep the double bishops and attack. At least for now, it looks correct. Yeah, right? looks like it the, the, yeah the problem is the knight takes so long to get yeah, the, the knight. Is, the knight has uh, maybe they're standing it for a better moment. Because yeah. you probably want to play bishop here. Like, like you have to play king yeah, here, then knight here to get the knight back in the game. It takes a long time. So let's just look at this game quickly so you see what happens. So c5, these are typical ideas of this position. Bishop f3, b8. Oh, I do remember this game. Ding built up an advantage, but then he let it slip at some point. Mm. Yeah, I think he made a mistake. Yeah. So this was a bad move. Wait, you said this is a rapid game? Yeah, yes. all my rapid. Not the candidates thing. No, no, yeah. this is from two thousand. Well, it's the that. same players, but they were doing Last it all year. Yeah. yeah. You remember a, a blitz game? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just remember that I remember that Ding let the advantage slip at some point. I just, it's well, this was a weak move, so there are a lot of he's already slightly game. worse here. G3. You must be a fan of Ding. Well, I just, I just watched all the big tournaments. But yeah, I am a fan of Ding. Well, if you, uh, like, if you want to know theory and stuff, you have to follow all the top tournaments. Uh, because they're all playing the latest ones. Yeah, right now there's a tournament played now. Right? It's, can, it's easier to get ideas from your from the Grandmaster seconds than from yourself. Doing well this. Than from your own engine. <laughs> yeah. Right, Nakamura like, is doing well. Like, he, he won a bear. Today he won the Naka, uh, are tied on second place. And yeah. plus one, and Nepo is at plus four. So knight a, knight a is a bad move. Yeah, this is a mistake. Ding B the Rapport, and Bobby lost to... Knight D two C four and Blue Flag in a good position. Bobby might be on tilt. Might be what? Bobby might be on tilt right now. Or like it, like in poker, there's a concept of tilt where you bad stuff starts happening to you and you start just collapsing. It's just a bad, a bad cycle of play. It's funny because usually Nepo is the one who does that, mm -hmm. but it seems like their personalities are reversed this time. Queen A six. It was an interesting game. 
So you are starting to notice that Black actually is getting a, a comfortable position of the sacrifice. Although White has consulted it a lot. Yeah, but it's still a nice position for Black. White is still trying to get his pieces out. The funny thing is, this is technically part of my repertoire, but oh. I haven't looked at any of these. For the white or black? For black, I play just as black, but I haven't looked at any of the lines. Rare, it's rare. Because people always play D3 instead of me. So I don't actually know how to play these positions. Right. Here, yeah, D4, which But it is the black kind of position. And here, white played for. this, and that was a blunder. What do you think Black should do? Should like to. Well, there's a there's a free. I accidentally saw them. <laughs> okay. Oh, if, if you can chase, if you can somehow get rid of that. So bishop, this was a, a really this cool is a blunder. After this, uh, Black is just winning. It's crazy. There's only one move, but Black is just winning. Here. What do you guys think? I don't see it. It looks kind of unclear. Yeah? One line looks somewhat unclear, although I guess you're winning an exchange? In the critical line? Uh, it's plus seven. After it takes, takes um, block, do you uh, take on C2 or what? Oh no, then there's not. There's uh, it's just, yeah, I barely looked at it. Well, maybe all the lines that I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like crushing. Right. I mean, it's like plus seven. But so there's, there's like only one line I can play to survive. That's yeah, the one I thought was unclear. That's so what I'm looking at, too. I'm wondering if you go check, check, uh, king's over here. Um, there's one really strong move that black plays. So. And it's fairly natural as well. Yeah. Just it's a, a piece that you move is natural, I guess. I guess you, you guys bring more force. I mean, he's weak in this pawn, right? The only thing defending it is this. Well, this is fairly stable construction. Well, so, but if, I mean, you could chase it away or something, right? So you could try to shake this bishop off. You need to think about there's pressure here. But it, the rook is so... So if you go... It'd be interesting if we had the move times. Oh. Oh, if, we, if we find that game on channel 24, you'll be able to see the move times and then see how long Ding took to find this. To find this move? Right. Is it Bishop takes pawn? Yeah. No. He found it. He played it and. Oh, that's a good move. Yeah. Pawn move and Duda resigned. Yeah. 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 Uh, the technical, if like you look at those technical puzzles, there are things like this. You're threatening a threat, which is kind of yeah. It's just it's, not it's hard common. to see. Yeah. yeah. There, are, there's a more common pattern where you're actually taking on g7, and then you get the knight and bishop mate configuration. All right. Is anyone yeah. else still trying to figure this out? Uh, it's a one mover. You should, well, not quite a one. No, I mean, it, it's just one key move and pretty much the white resign, which is crazy. I mean, he could play. He could have played on each other's I I ruined my knight there. There's, There's another move that would work against a. Looking to beat. Huh? I think you're looking to beat. Yeah. There's a different move that would work in bullet, fifty percent of the time. Oh, wait, if you move the queen out here, if he no, that's takes, what I was saying would work in bullet. Check, you have double check here. <laughs> There's knight takes, can, though. There's knight down. takes. <laughs> yeah, oh, knight takes. But it's the, it's the right idea. So you do you want the queen to attack the g2 square. Can you move the knight? You could move the knight. Move that knight here. You move and knight then attack with the bishop. So you, but yeah, you move the knight here, I just chop it or something. But that's like a you have that one, you kick that one, and then you move them. Then just have three, probably. And 
95 might just lose a pawn. Yeah, I see. Uh, no, because knight takes his knight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is the move I said. Knight takes. Knight takes. Oh, sorry. Knight takes. Knight takes. No, okay, it's a queen move. The queen move, okay, we got a hint, we got a hint. It's queen. a queen move. Think about putting pressure on G2. What, what's the only other square that's like ice G2? Yeah. But then you could get four. I don't know. Oh, queen C6. Queen C6 or queen C4. Queen C6 or queen C4. Check on F2 or G3. Yeah. What do you think? Yep. That's one of the most. So the. All right. So the, he got one of the most. The move is queen d5. Yeah. I was thinking of this one or this one. I didn't know which one. Do they both work? I think they both work. Okay. So he moves here. Yeah. There's a chick and up it. So this is the one I wasn't sure about. Takes takes f3. Oh, that is crazy. Then you just chop it. With the yeah. Check him. Oh, oh goodness okay. gracious. Triple attack. Triple attack. Triple attack. Check, team check is quite scary. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is this covers with the uh, bishop and then the king? Check. No, good. Yeah, then check. Then you're forced to play here, right? Uh, well, here there's knight takes. Yeah, I think like knight. You yeah. die. I think this is the only move. Uh, take, same thing. Bishop there's still knight bishop takes. Bishop takes. Or this yeah, one is like like This one's really strong. Move my king. Move the king here. The mini king. Mini king. Yeah. Even so, there's at least I bishop, there's bishop, at least bishop, bishop in there. Takes. It looks killing. At least. Yeah, the problem is, I don't know what happens after that. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I think this is lost. You move it because bishop takes me. Yeah. Bishop takes me, me. Yeah, I think soon. It's, yeah, we know how. So what's really so magical is having both bishops uh, next to each other here taking this double diagonal. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Although, I mean... You hear me sing so, two hours across from oh, you guys. Let's see. Doing it, you know. oh, yeah, that's why I won't, I won't do like two private games players that one are 1600. The, uh, one of the Chinese women grandmasters, uh, female grandmasters, plays so this gets just played? as white. Yep. Uh, she got this uh, from oops. the one of the Carlson toys because she kept playing this line as white and giving her super grandmaster opponents life. <laughs> yeah. So bishop e2, h6, knight f3 is the other line. Uh, e4. So this game is actually a really old game. We're start calling them howitzer bishops. It's cool. From uh, 96. Yeah, that's cool. More so they didn't quite play the fast line. Let's see four. Who? Kasparov? This is an old Kasparov game. Kasparov was white and he got to play. Oh, wow. So here... No, against Timman. He won. Yeah, it's yeah so the, the card move is bishop to d6. But Timman, uh, I guess in those days... Is it securing the Does that do a lot? Yeah, the problem is f4. Wait, what? What was the problem if he does this? F5. F5 usually is pretty good. That's the typical. Is that clear though? Yeah. I guess d4 is coming. I don't it really know. Takes, takes yeah, three, this is what something. everybody plays these days. Bishop d6. But let's look at this online. Castle. Queen c7. d4, e3, knight e3. Bishop d6. d3, castle. Bishop e2, e8. What's the black take on H2? Yeah, yeah, take on what? On H2. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. He, I mean, he could do that. I don't, know. Yeah, I don't know what happens after G3. Oh, okay. Looks like a... Yeah, I don't know if it just seems it's un playable. It just unprincipled. Or it seems doesn't wrong. look like you're mm -hmm. enough to play. Here's what happens. You take... There's probably no, bishop no, takes first, right? Yeah, not good, right. not good. Bishop takes first. It would take three bones for a... Uh, for, uh, yeah. Why, why can't you take on f6 first? And then probably. Yeah. On this yeah. one? No, and then you get trapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then you get trapped. Yeah, yeah, and then you get trapped. And he has three bones actually for this. No, this is longer because now you're threatening rook g1. No, 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 but then... No, no, just rook g1. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the, if you play... Ah, oh, yeah, so you take first two. Yeah. You okay. take, take... Okay, yeah, yeah, easy tech. And then just reach it. Yeah. Yeah. So take, take, and then here yeah, just reach it. G3. Yeah. Yeah. So can't, can't play that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's just one of these lines where... Again, if you want to play it, you just have to know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but now h3 implies that black is standing to take. Yeah, so h3. Uh, I think you're more defending, okay. I guess. Because yeah. of your. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Right, e4. Okay, so this, again, it's an old line, so people don't play this anymore, but I thought it was just interesting to look at this. Seven, three. And that was actually a not so good move. This is not good. Knight takes pawn here was better. Oh, desperado. Takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn, you take this, and then the whole thing is about equal. Why is this? Because the knight is being hit, so. Yeah, I'm hitting your knight, so if I capture, 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 I take the knight. So this is a desperado yeah. tactic, and it comes with tempo. You're just saying, yeah, the so, knight is already gone, might as well get something for it. Yeah, exactly. yeah this one, uh, computer thinks it's close to equal. Maybe white has a small plus, like one. I, I would take black here. here. I like the bishop I think black is fine. You like your bishop pairs, huh? Uh, the bishop pair, if you know how to use it, especially in the ending, it's a huge plus. I'm just worried about the A file. That's yeah, it. So the issue with the broken pawns. Yeah. yeah. It's not not the not that clear that you know black is. There's a damage. Yeah, yeah, there's one. 
Yeah, it's, it's right there is about equal. I mean, you're probably going to play something like that. Yeah, I mean, you'll play it, and then the rook has to go. Oh, yeah, concretely, rook a2 first, this, obviously, b6, I guess, is yeah. Yeah, but like, white is like, I think this was one of three. So, the Kavita thought that white was tiny, tiny bit better, but. Oh, white is really good? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Point three, which is hardly anything. So, they meant they played the right move. They did play knight b3. So, this happened. We should have five here. Oh, what's wrong with take? Oh, wait. No, they didn't even exchange, sorry. Ah, okay, okay just that's why. So bishop f5. Rook e1, rook e1. Rook b8, I guess. Uh, oh, this is what does rook b8 accomplish? He's just trying to figure out where to get his rook out. He probably wants to come out. Just because it's a semi-open file. Yeah, because this file is taken. Well, or... the other file is taken. So he's just trying to get his rook out. So he played with the here. Yeah. Is rook c so, worth considering for c5, c4, or c4? Probably. Yeah, I think that's worth uh, considering. This construction just looks excellent. It's kind of silly. Yep. Well, I mean, I'm not going to go too much deeper because he blundered here. So, rook b8, g4, bishop g6, king f1, h5, rook e3, rook to b5, bishop d2, f6. And here he blundered with rook d5. This was quite bad. We're supposed to guess what Why the next is this move? a blunder? Yeah. No, I mean, it's just F5. F5 yeah. uh, Black oh. is just having. I mean, Black just, his pieces are really off it. Not a blunder in that he gave up a free piece. You're just saying it was just a nonsense move because now he has this. Oh, yeah. Great. All right, but, uh, but Bishop F7, F5, what's the, what do you do with the tempo? All right. No, but what if, what if, like, say white just goes f5, what, do you, what does black do with the extra tempo? Like, why is bishop f7 good? Uh, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not good. Oh, was it here? Oh, g1. Or I'm just, no, because, because this is a threat, right? So this is preempting the threat, but let's say white just goes for it anyway, what is black's oh. idea here? Uh, like instead of here, this is like the same position that we can transfer. Oh, but saying, what's, what's the improvement here? Like what is the point of bishop f7 after f5? So bishop, oh so what you're saying is play bishop f7 here. No, this is this was the computer, but the idea is to preempt this. But if white does it anyway, what's black's improvement instead of rook d5? So that, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, maybe not out of before. Maybe... Just oh wait! Oh, no, there's no. I don't think. I'd say just play your king to f8, and then move the rook back. Right. Or like I think if Black is gonna draw this, he's gonna liquidate this. So maybe play here, play g6. Okay. Probably something like that. Right? Okay. But I mean, this uh, like, this is a logical move, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. a logical move. Yeah, but I we we'll, we we'll won't look at the rest of the okay, game. Okay, so you played with it. Okay. It wasn't extremely. Uh, so it was a blunder because rook d five is a wasted move. Uh, yeah. Well, he was already in deep trouble here. Rook d five, f five, bishop c five. Yeah. Why does it say bishop c five? F five. It wants to sack the um, it wants to sack the rook for two pieces. Yeah. 
Was that what happened again? No. But popular suggested that. Popular suggests this. I have no clue why. I think we just do some things. Okay, but yeah, probably you take first here, right? Or probably. Oh, maybe you can. I don't no, know. you can't. Maybe he this, just wanted this to take. This makes no sense to me. So this must be even worse somehow. Bishop F7 immediately, and the bishop is here. This yes, must, so just, this must just lose for some reason. I think this bishop here. There must be the some tactic here, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have the rook. Yeah, the rook is shot. Before, so, rook d5 was just a plot. Before bishop c3. Yeah, bishop here, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 well, you just get your rook check. So you'd rather give up... Um, so you have to give up the piece. You'd rather give up two pieces for the rook than a pure exchange, I guess is what the... Uh, no, you just chop, chop, and then you chop one piece up. But there should be a trick here. Because otherwise I would rather give the exchange. There's no trick. Well, there's also main threats after that. Yeah. No, this is just lost. No, rook d5 was just an outright blunder. It looks so unnatural too, because of the c4 yeah. ideas. And Kasprov missed it. So, was it near time? Probably in time trouble. No, it was not. I don't think it was in time trouble. Crazy that Kasprov missed this. Oh, it's probably he just thought it was technically winning, so he didn't search for anything. I mean, he was already winning here. Right. Okay. All right. Anyway, we'll go to the next line, which is the bishop to d3 line. Which seems to be more popular these days, at least recently. So, where is it? So, so now it's here, bishop here, knight f6. So bishop d3. A really strange looking move, but seems to be more popular. It's just strong. What's that? It's just strong. I no, think it's controlling no. this square, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah we, I it's believe bad. it's preventing e5. We're going to develop the bishop here. Yeah, because in the bishop e2 line, you notice that the knight is going to very uncomfortable square. So the knight yeah. can actually go to yeah. this right. So it six here is an inaccuracy, I believe. Yep, so... Yeah, so the interesting game that happened recently was so against Kansu. Mm. I'm sure you've seen this game. Yeah, I vaguely remember it. Was it a real game or another Blitz game? Another oh, online rapid. It's uh, online rapid. Well, but they know the theory, so they're all blitzing out the theory. Mm. Yeah, so 9 4 is always an idea here. Right? Yeah. Then you're just getting stuff there. This was a Melt Knight C3. Is the do you know? Do you know if this is a Meltwater game? Probably. Some one of those like cross him. <laughs> so Knight F4, Knight C3, Chop Chop. This is supposed to be about equal. Instead, Something like that is in my notes. It's in your notes. Like this Knight F4 type idea. Yeah. Okay. If you want to try. Well, this is like a really crazy line. Yeah, this looks very sharp. I think some might have prepped this. So you knew that knight f4 yeah, was more so dry. Yeah, so probably prepped this deliberately deviated. Yeah, with a slightly worse move objectively, but... Oh, here he went d4. Or oh, sorry, Carlson prepped this. Carlson right. was black. black yeah. So he set the piece for three pawns. I remember this game better now. Yeah, so There's he played knight. Some weird queen side expansion. Three, ie six. Yeah, this is a crazy game. I think Sol is ahead on the clock here, or uh, I think Carlson was spending a lot of time at one point. Yeah, I don't really know, but the position is actually better for black, up uh, for white. Right. So yeah. Oh, the computer thinks this is equal. So, so I think we played this and Carlson played this blunder. I have no idea what that's a bunch. <laughs> well, what was so the, the line is bishop mm. c4. There's a... Who's the GM who always says to take as a mistake? 
stop me a lot. There, there's, this one Russian, there's this one Soviet GM who always says to take is a mistake. And that's this principle here. Because yeah. you don't want to help Black improve his night. You want to yeah. improve they should pieces. See for, yeah, usually... Yeah, 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 takes it back. Yeah, you don't want to give up the bishop there. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't take you? This looks so shaky. <laughs> oh, I guess because white is better. Yeah. There was a funky position for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crazy line. Like, this is an engine line for sure. <laughs> There's an engine line, yeah, I mean. Knight takes. Knight takes, rook takes. Bishop takes a6, knight takes a6. Bishop b2, and uh, the engine gives this a. But oh, I, maybe the other one is fine. This, oh. Yeah, this looks nice. Too. This, the engine says, is clearly better for white. Hmm. This is a Talon game. Because rook versus two miners. This is a what game? Talon game. Because Marin in his turn from the Legends here, it's about how Tal sometimes gets ripped for two Oh, Tal in game? Yeah, Tal, Tal L, L and game. Yeah, I, yeah, I look at this and I'm like, I think it's equal, but the well, engine Rook and two pawns is usually better than two nets. Yeah, well, but... A little bit. But, no, but you're saying Tal is good with uh, the two nets. Yeah, no, Tal is good with the rooks. Oh, Tal is good with the rooks. So Tal's oh, super rooks. About the yeah, rooks. Tal's super rooks, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I look at this and I think it's equal, but the computer says it's clearly better for white. The computer was giving a similar... I sent Aloysius in the Nepo Rajapov game. There was a line he could have gone into where he would get Rook and Pawn for two miners oh. and control of the C file, and I was telling him that's another Tal end game. Yeah, <laughs> I'll end yeah no, I, I would prefer to play... Oh. Black, I think. <laughs> black I think a lot of humans human prefer the pieces. Yeah. yeah, they prefer the four pieces. The problem with black it's harder to play uh, against the two yeah. minus. The, the problem with black's position is that all of the pawns are isolated. There aren't enough of them. I think these rooks are getting traded in most yeah, some probably. lines. I'm Which would favor white? That would favor. It's going to be easy to coordinate the two minus. No, I'm saying with a rook trade, it favors white. Yeah. 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 And the only problem that black has is the. It's the Split. Pawn Islands, yeah. yeah, that's quite difficult to handle against a group. One Pawn Island is good, but or, three is yeah, not. Yeah, because what we have to play this move, one we're taking. Oh, yeah, I don't know why they can take that, that's a problem. We play Rook here, and then Rook here. Like, the Pawn is not takeable for a long time. I can take this one. I can take the Bishop, if you play that here, so I can play the Bishop, and it takes a Bishop. This is the only Bishop, I guess, would just be here the game for me. Oh, you mean night before I just play with you to play here, I just move yeah, the Bishop yeah. here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, is this an idea immediately? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might work, but I'm not going to capture it. I will just I guess put just the Knight in oh, there. Yeah. Oh, I'll just, just control it. that. No, but it is position yeah. is black still thinking to uh, A4 well, this, this freezes I mean, the Knight, right? Computer says, computer says white. Oh, yeah, really you have to. Because if Knight moves, you chop and you trade the rooks. And it might be better for white. Yeah. But the two knights are clearly not as good as the bishop and knight. Two knights can't even give me. Roll yeah. without some on help. Yeah, it's just a, it's like it's not an easy position to play, but apparently this is better for white, or clearly better than the computer. Yeah, but if you exchange the bishop, it's going to make life a lot harder for white. Yeah. Hopefully, don't touch. Oh wow, I forgot crossing one this much. Yeah, Carlson won this because so blunted. So if you want to look at the rest of this game, I guess you guys can look at it. But, uh, so the queen was here, yeah, and then the bishop is right here on the So it's a crazy position. The guy's on B7. What's that, the ground? The position definitely looks more stable than <laughs> Bishop C4. He took first. Oh no, he took. So this was a mistake. So after this, King takes Knight, takes then he played Bishop C4 to check. He should have just played Knight to here. That's hard to play. That's a computer move. Yeah. 
as Bishop C4 is on that foot, but the engine is like, I've already messed up 90 to consolidate. How is that? You want to play with that? Doesn't Black have a work rank for free? What? Uh, so I think the danger. There's a P7, right? So the no the danger is I think you check and then you play bishop b two and then I think you have a danger a seriously dangerous attack. So I don't know what you're gonna play here. Probably is the only move. But here check here and then you start chopping and then you have bishop here. So it looks extremely dangerous because the computer just says uh, bishop. Computer says bishop e6 here is equal. Again, this is not playable by humans, I don't think. What do you think the move is here? Bishop e3 or something? Maybe. Bishop d3. Everything is handled by a threat. Maybe just bishop h6. Bishop h6 needs this. investigation too. Yeah, doesn't that lose the tempo? No. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Even one takes on his player. Yeah, yeah. Because you think, yeah, you got Bishop A3. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, it's... This might be a good position to, the, to practice your calculation. <laughs> according yeah, to the computer, it's uh, equal. But then when I look at it, I think black is better. Black might be better long term. Black is better long term, but white is, has dynamic. Yeah, dynamic white has a lot of dynamic play, so yeah. Hard to say. It's a hard position to look at. Black's position feels like it's just holding together by a thread, though. Black? Black? Half of white's pieces are still in the first range. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, play. I think there's still stuff to play for for most things. Yeah, I think that looks like yeah. the best move is just pawn takes pawn. And I'm just showing you three to take this. Yeah. Because oh, I guess Bishop here loses a tempo, so yeah, I think he would just play into all those pieces. Nice. Because he cannot move the knight, so he will lose here. This is Maybe nice. Bishop E2 is possible too. Yeah, because I'm trying to threaten that move and also threaten the Bishop here. Is taking too dangerous? Take here is too dangerous. No, but if we have five takes, is, it, is that too dangerous? Take right now? Yeah. You would take. Probably just take. Because your Bishop is hanging. Bishop is hanging. I see. You don't want to get the rook here. Well, the, once you lose the bishop, the other bishop comes out with a lot of threats. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks pretty. Looks quite dangerous. Yeah. Uh, it's a difficult position to play. I mean, obviously, it's very, very tactical. Yeah, it's very position. You would like to play it. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to do the... D4 line, it's more like a scotch, so let's just skip that. You guys can look at it if you want. Uh, but let's go to the last line, which is the D3 line. Which is a lot of theory, so. All very theoretical line. Yeah, like I. Like I said, right? Don't play these lines unless you know what the heck is going on. Because uh, D3. <laughs> so instead of knight G5, uh, there's D4 and D3. D3 is popular at the grandmaster level. Uh, obviously, they just want to play the slow pattern. So D3. Bishop c5, I guess we'll look at it next week. So bishop e7 is the alternative, and this is like the Spanish bishop e7 type lines. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's solid. It's, you know, the bishop is, I guess, okay on e7. Usually, it's like to uh, f8 castle, play it on d8, and then the bishop goes to f8. The most recent book on this might be Polygons. All against black weapons in E5, I think he comes. Oh, I don't know if there's anything. Oh. I don't know if there's anything more recent, but that one I know he comes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know if this is. It's supposed to be more solid for black than the bishop C5 lines. 
so it is playable. Yeah. So this here, is white is top six one. Castle, castle. <laughs> White position is toxic. Because you get good positions, then you, then you lose. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that makes sense. Nice. I can envision that. So the last game is just uh, this Kramnik Carlson game from 2016. That I thought, you know, looks like the position like this, okay. Carlson is dangerous in almost every position. <laughs> yeah, so C5, again, this is kind of an idea in uh, Spanish against this, like in the Chigorian lines, if you will. And then you bring the knight back after, after this. Yeah, as you usually capture, you're, you're just, you're attacking the set, you're making the D4 not as potent. Yeah. So the C5 idea. It was strange to see it in the, the Italian, but... Uh, I guess it's kind of the Spanish idea, that's the only thing that I can see. Like C6, C3, Bishop E6. So Kramnik took, took. B4. Oh, it's second one. Wow. B3, D5. Carlson gave it back. Yeah. Well, he went for a lot of activity. Did Carlson beat the board? No, did Kramnik beat the board? Kramnik, yeah, he did. C8. Put B1, Knight C2. Wow. Yeah. Boy, he's playing this really well. Knight D4. Yeah. Black is getting a lot of activity. Kramnik's getting outplayed. Yeah, he's getting outplayed severely. Queen C7, yeah. D to F3. Incredible. Knight takes knight, knight takes knight. And now he won a push. He took the pawn. Now he's just gonna cross in him. Queen to e2. Here yeah, Carlson made a mistake. Queen c4. Do you want to play this ending? It's white to play or black to play? Black, uh, black to play. Queen c6 was a much better move. You probably yeah. just want to get queens off. <laughs> What's wrong with the fork on, on the c5 of the knight? So you catch up and then move the rook. Yeah. So it's just. <coughs> so this is, uh, this is what I guess is recommended. <coughs> Oh, like this is such a computer idea. You wait for him to block the rook, and yeah. then you go for and the queen. That's such a computer, yeah. typical yeah. computer motif. Uh, and this is supposed to be already yeah. slightly better. Is there an improvement here for white? Or like, is there another logical plan here for white? So basically, you wait on queen c6, and then after the queen, you go c4. Oh, I guess because <laughs> this is done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want, you can move the queen. Be, or you protect this, right? and you're done with the pawn, right? I think this is, is, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is probably one of the few moves. Well, Bishop D2, I guess, is too focused. You chop the just take, and then you're just killing. Yeah, Queen C4 looks really good for Black. That's such a so I think Black computer is just a, idea. Just a pawn up. You just get a better version. Yeah. So anyway, Carlson made a mistake and played Queen C4. Slightly weaker move. Do you know the time control? Uh, no. It's 2016, so it might be a classical game. I thought Kramnik retired after... Oh no. Yeah, I don't know if he was retired or what, but they were both 2800 back then. So they were both still very strong. Uh, but here, I mean, the, the position was equal. Bishop E2. Oh, so he literally he did cross him. He won from an equal end. Wait, can you go back? What happens if Rook plays Rook to the Queen? Check and you lose your house. Yeah, the windmill. Windmill. Just like this. Windmill? Windmill. Because you check, moves, you move the rook. You can keep checking along the second. Windmill tactic. So, yeah. so he is attacking. So he's playing here now. It's one of the first chapters in the Yusupov series. I think literally the first chapter of the first book is Windmill, yeah. Uh, 
Bishop B6 is a draw. Yeah, I'm not going to play. Okay. So the, the position is equal. So here, bringing up the G pawn over there, the reason it's not so scary is because Dark doesn't have to like push anymore. Oh, you're just making yeah. That's you're the just reason making it's not. a hole. Yeah. Yeah. But if there is no hole because he doesn't have any. You're just making it. have a queen or like bishop, and that's why it's yeah. okay. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point of playing the edge. This violates the Kappa Blanca rule, though. But I guess it's <laughs> worse. The what? I mean, so yeah. Kappa Blanca rules, you put your pawns on the opposite color of your bishop. But F3 is too weak for the second. Yeah, and I, I, I would play here. Except that I would you prefer to get both the same sides of the same dark bishop. Right, right, but yeah, I think it's hard to evaluate. This, is, this is a weakness. This is weaker yeah. than this. So this is a weakness. Slight problem here, but the king here yeah, usually king covers everything. So I mean, as white, I would probably just play my king out here. I don't know. That's kind of what I would try. King of maybe h5, and then kind of turn on this. Yeah, or well, I would probably play h3. Um, like I would prefer to keep the pawn. So then the maybe just transpose it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, if anything, white might be marginally better because of this. <laughs> But oh, I don't know that he blunted. Yeah. No, he, he Kramnik blunted. You can even bail out like this, actually. Oh, yeah. Blunder, but Kramnik doesn't want to accept the no, but if worst endgame. If you play this, I'm probably going to just move my bishop over. Uh, no, no, in this G3 version, I think. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise there's back rank issues. Yeah, G3. Where was the bishop here? Oh, yeah, you can see he, he just made a horrible blunder. And lost it because it, yeah, it was not. So, this is also a rapid game? I'm not, uh, sure. I'm not sure. It might not be. It might be a classical since it's from 2016. Because like, they didn't make many mistakes until right at the end. Until May 55. In the yeah, equal giant game. It, it should be. Oh, he's on the spot. No, he blundered an uh, exchange. Yeah, yeah. I'll finish it. Yeah, he blundered the exchange. He just wow. missed a simple tactic. Well, if it's Kramnik's also the guy who blundered the F8 against Fritz. <laughs> well, the, re the, the, the since he blundered move 55, I have a feeling it's a classical <laughs> game. Because that's before the move 16 would be the time control. So they would be in some time trouble, like uh, around 55. But was he like, really spending that much time in this ending from 40 to 60? Uh, I mean, Carlson is probably making him defend, so usually their masters spend a lot of time. Once they get past the time control, they always seem to get in time trouble. That's funny. They always will spend like 10 minutes in the or something and then they get in the time trouble again. It's yeah, they, strange. They relax too early. Yeah, so he might have just relaxed and then he just made a... Uh, it was like a really bad blunder, so I, I think he probably just blundered because it was close to time. Sure, they didn't have much time left. Black wants to trade rooks here, right? In general? Uh, if the king can is close to the pawn. Um, Actually, I would try to trade bishops. Uh, is that... Just to make it very, very foggish. But don't these get exchanged quickly? Oh, you mean, oh, you're talking about black. For no, black, 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 black to win. I would try to keep both. I would not trade. But if you keep if both, I want to win, I would, I would try to keep everything. If you keep both, white just sits, right? If you keep both, white can just sit. Yeah, but if you trade down, yeah. the endgame is... Uh, the no, I'm saying the bishop endgame looks good for a brush. It depends on where you can get your king. Right. So yeah. I would only trade it if I can get my king... 
Yeah, I mean, maybe. probably, yeah. I mean, I'd say I would try to do the soft then. Ah, uh, that's smart, blocking the... Yeah. Blocking the... Then I will try to... Then, then maybe I might think about being able to win, but that's probably what I'll do. I think with Rooks off, this is winning. Or very close to winning. Look, thank you. Could be. Everyone. Okay, Michael. Bye. Take care. Bye. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, this was well defended by Black, uh, by White after he blundered. So can, you really me, can you show me how the blunder works? I don't understand. Yeah. No, no, it's a long way more. Huh? It's quite deep. It's, it's a long way. Oh, okay. There's many many more. There's many, many more. Bishop C7, G3, King of King of No, 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 it's like a Will Morehouse game. Oh, it's my kind of game. <laughs> I think it's a Will Morehouse game. Also a bad Because he played that uh, pawn move against me. He thought I had to take I played G4 and he lost to, what's that guy's name, Link? Completely winning position. I played with it. Called Thomas? Yeah. Oh. Completely winning position, remember? It was the time and that he gave me the ball. Right. The one that you the phone You're not just hopped around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Extraction operation, take the phone. Uh, so if you want to look at uh, where are we? Uh, uh, no, this bishop way. to B6. This is not a good move. But I don't know why. But anybody in the world who wants to do the Italian. Well, let's just go quickly here. Oh, is the rook getting embarrassed now? <laughs> yeah, the... I mean, why... The piece why is still... still the problem about this Carlson games is that he gets such a small advantage and he just keeps squeezing what, it. What was wrong with rook h3? Just to block if after this rook g3 is the idea? Wait, what happens? I have to check. No, no, the, you have a... this. This is oh, black to move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's oh. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the You have to play F4 at some point. Okay, yeah, yeah H4. Uh, oh, it's just rook yeah. A4. No, but now rook, F, rook here and rook G2 is coming. Yeah, yeah. Rook this, is, this, this is disgusting. <laughs> you, can, you can just feel Carlson. Carlson is just, Carson yeah, he's just the playing for the smallest advantage. No, Carlson is really pushing white's pieces back, right? So the king on the, king in the center of the ball is white. Carlson only seems to misplay on games against Ding. <laughs> that's in recent memory, that's all I can think of. Yeah, but for Carlson to be able to do this against Crumbing is no joke. <laughs> yeah. Carlson doesn't have a very high opinion of Crumbing, yeah, but he used to not. Yeah, there's oh, this yeah. funny quote from him. Well, Kramling is playing in a very similar fashion. They should E3 Carlson. and this is a blunder. Okay. Crossing is like Kramling but better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really, nice. oh that's, that's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah, so blunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's changing that. Yeah, so this is just a blunder. Otherwise... Uh, no, I didn't know. I didn't know Carlson had a full opinion of Kramling. I think it was after Kramling made some opinionated remarks and then Carlson destroyed him in an interview. So rook a4, bishop here, bishop here. Oh, this is the computer line? Uh, black is slightly better, but I think Carlson it's would win this anyway, I think. He yeah. wouldn't wait for Kremnik to crack and then... Yeah, that's kind of what he did. I think uh, he yeah. cracked because of time trouble. I'm sure being forced to defend this position for so long. Maybe Karyaku was forced to Maybe. <laughs> no, but look, look at this uh, against a 2800 grandmaster. He's able to yeah, get a rook and bishop around the white king. Like I'm just that. thinking if there's any zoop song ideas for for black. If yeah. if there aren't, then maybe white can. They're probably. Like, yeah, the, the computer thinks this is slightly better for black. So black will just keep squeezing and squeezing. Knowing Carlson, he'll play this for 30 moves. 
Yeah. Until yeah. everything. Oh, if there's pieces left, then. He doesn't believe. And if pawns left, he will just keep playing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still incredible to be able to push the 2800 Grandmaster into the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was a plan. That Bishop E3 and he resigned after Rook C3. That's a Because he got squeezed so badly. Yep. But anyway, it was a nice squeeze. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was exchanged. Yeah, yeah he, he was just exchanged. Right? Takes different check pawns and takes. And a pawn, and so a pawn, yeah. Yeah, the idea, right? Put the pawn on E5 and the king on <laughs> E5. Yeah. Well, it's very natural, I guess. It's a, yeah, it's a natural thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, so the pawn here shields your king, yeah, usually. Yeah, shields the king and protect your own pawn. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a good idea to, to get that. And you're not as worried of putting it on the dark square, uh, because it can still move. So it's not, mm. not an issue. Like this pawn, right, it's stuck, so that's going to be a permanent weakness. This is not usually in the center of the king. Not something that you should be concerned about. All right, so I guess we managed to finish the whole two nights. So next week we'll do part two. Any, any questions? If you want to copy it. In case you like playing uh, an Italian game, hopefully that gives you an idea of all the lines. Thank you.